Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Okay, it's July the 28th of the Heirloom Organic Vegetable Garden Update. And as you can see behind me, the corn is huge. Uh, growing great. Uh, it's like usual, the corn is coming through strong for us. Uh, the, uh, the weeding this week, we didn't get a lot done. I got about 12 hours done. Uh, we had some serious rain, so it's actually just starting to rain right now. Uh, the onions are coming great. Uh, we had onions this week that were over two and a half inches diameter. Uh, the beans have all started uh, flowering now that we've thinned everything out. It's Everything's flowering up. It's looking good. Uh, the peas, uh, the snow peas are uh, coming up great. Lots of uh, flowers and even the ones that we planted uh, the other day, which I'll, down here you can see them. Right there, they're coming up. So, we're gonna have a second wave of uh, snow peas there, and the snap peas, uh, they're already starting to form. Um, let me see if we can see here, There's, uh, I saw some yesterday. Yes, there they are. Uh, so there we have the, the peas. Oh, actually, they're the ones, they look like snow peas. Maybe I got it backwards. Oh, boys, I can't, I can't remember. We didn't write it down what side we planted, which peas on which, so, but way we got peas, so. And there's lots of them. Look at them all. I got a hunch these are snow peas. And I mixed in snow peas with snap peas over there. Oh well. Shit happens, eh? So the the, uh, car the carrots are coming up great here, the colorful carrots. Um, like I said, we didn't get a lot of weeding done. I only got about another, uh, like I said, t 12 hours done. Now, no sign of um, uh, cauliflower at all. No heads whatsoever forming. We've gone through them all. But we have had this week a lot of snacks of uh, broccoli, really tasty broccoli, uh, very, very strong. Uh, this is the next section we're going to weed here because we want to uh, help the, uh, the vines are going across the garden, which we have to get them up into the wine, up to the wire. So uh, we're going to weed this this week for sure. Oh my God, look at the size of that zucchini flower. I haven't seen one that big. Actually, these leaves, if you look, my boot is a foot. And that's pushing. I say that's 18, 20 inches. Uh, look at the size of that flower. That flower is uh, six, seven inches across. It's just full of flowers, actually. The plant, this uh, zucchini this year is massive. Absolutely. Look at the bees doing their job, right? Eh? Well, Santo hasn't killed those yet. We got lots of bees here. We're lucky. Lots and lots of bumblebees. Tons actually. Uh, potatoes are coming good. Uh, the uh, Brussels sprouts, gonna do another chop off this week on the lower leaves, uh, another row. Uh, probably about mid to end week, I'll chop another row off. Um, and oh, we're starting to get development. The Brussels sprouts are starting to develop. I just cut those last week to give you an idea. So last week there was nothing, this week they're starting to form. So we should have a good crop of Brussels sprouts this year. Uh, definitely going to have romaine this week. We're going to have Caesar salad. Uh, the uh, batch we planted down there is coming up really nice. Carrots down this end are coming really strong. Like as you can see, I weeded this end. Uh, just in two rows, I got two full wheelbarrow loads of weeds. It was nasty. Uh, but the uh, we're going to be doing uh, beet tops here uh, this week. Or not next this week, probably about next week. Uh, we'll be cleaning them out. Uh, thinning the beets out and, and taking the tops and freezing them. Uh, I love frozen beet tops in the winter. It's like uh, having fresh spinach. The parsnips are coming up really good. They're a slow pan anyways. They're, they're like till November. So uh, they're, you know, they're coming up good. Their spacing's nice on them. Now the tomatoes, I've been pinching the tomatoes back uh, quite a lot. And if you look at the size of these things, they're just, uh, they're growing everywhere. I mean, like I've got flowers everywhere on them. And, uh, there's lots of tomato action happening inside of them. You can see the size of them. They're nice bushy. I didn't let them get as tall this year because I'm uh, pruning them back. But uh, like we've got tomatoes everywhere on them. They're just, we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes out of eight plants. Now this end of the garden, I know I gotta add some serious uh, manure to this end. This corner is a dead corner for some reason. The uh, tomato plants are not doing well at this end. Uh, actually everything uh, on this edge of the garden so uh, this fall we got a little bit of work to do. So now the uh, spaghetti squash and the potatoes, uh, they're coming great. Uh, we had a little bit of potato bug problem, but I got rid of that. I had some organic uh, vegetable dust and I uh, did it five days in a row and got rid of the potato bugs. 
the uh, spaghetti squash not uh, doing the best this year. We'll see how it happens. You know, it could be a late starter like everything else. Uh, this year was a screwed up spring. So, but uh, as you can see, the garden is growing unbelievable, like usual. So the uh, heirloom organic vegetable garden update uh, this week is nothing but positive news. Except I didn't get as much weeding done as I would like to get done, but that'll happen. Uh, it's getting done. And uh, this is our weed pile here, just to give you an idea. Weeding uh, duck shit. That'll be a good compost pile when we throw it in. So that's the update for this week, and uh, keep an eye out on my channel. We've got lots of duck stuff coming up if you're interested.